right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with them and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab. Jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future, in all likelihood, is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in... Uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, do. the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. Know. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my control. fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Ooh! Gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing once before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. 
just misses with the straight right. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get takedowns. That is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Single collar tie now. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Boy, top one. That one sneak in. Nice strike. It's time to look for that takedown now. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game. His ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. And there comes the separation now. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, single collar tie now. Well, nice punch there by Mago Meta. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. They continue to exchange. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Big body kick land. Straight right hand counter, useful. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Able to check the high kick. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy. Oh, nice trip to change the level. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Under a minute to go. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Blocks the shot. Takedown attempt late, and it's good. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Huge knee land. Oh, nice. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, he's Starts to take it. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And 
watching him fight. That knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. All right, he engages in the single follow shy. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. That strike blocked by Nermago Meta. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand up. He's developing his skill every single day. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Gets the elbow up into the target. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes, really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. Visibly limping here. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. The takedown is there. How about the transition with the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Good defense to block the strike coming back. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 74 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nurmago Medov. Liver kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. And they separate. Big punch land. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Got the single collar tie. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. That's a big strike right there. Slashing elbow from the clinch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Head kick. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, collar tie. Tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. A lot 
lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the opposite. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of Oh, and he caught the kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands often. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. Big kick land. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Oh, some big punches raining down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he when he's having so much success doing it in fighting in this exact same manner that's leading them to be ahead in the fight right now. Left eye starting to swell significantly now. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Under a minute now to go. Good solid strike on the ground. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. 
Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Thirty seconds to go here. All right, twenty seconds to go in the round. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Nermago Meta. Oh, nice. In attack and armbar. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists. Land strikes, don't throw too many. Throw just enough control. Throw again, control. He did it perfect. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments. Or... Oh! Holy smokes! He got him! <laughs> Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buck. Contest at six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle, Nevada Romero. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.